Hi, this is Andy from Orbit Media, and this video is going to show you how to launch your LinkedIn newsletter. Let's jump in. Okay, a LinkedIn newsletter is a very powerful channel for content distribution. It doesn't exclude the option of making your own normal email newsletter. It can be totally in addition to that. That's exactly how we've done it. And I'm going to show you how we launched our own and some basic best practices for doing one for yourself. Uh, this is after about two and a half years of us publishing LinkedIn newsletters. Uh, I think there's like more than 100 articles in that time. So this is the sort of mechanics of how to set it up, uh, how to, how to you know, move your content in there, uh, assuming that you already have kind of an active content program and that you're just looking for a chance to like improve the reach and the engagement on everything that you publish forever after. Ready? Okay. I'm inside uh, LinkedIn right now. And to launch a newsletter, all we do is really click on the Write Article button from the LinkedIn homepage. Now, I'm gonna go through this as if I'm creating a new one, for example. I'm gonna start with my company page because that gives me that button, Create Newsletter. Now, the newsletter title, I recommend keeping it very basic, very simple, almost boring, very descriptive. You get 30 characters. For the description, you get 120 characters, and that's where you choose your publishing frequency. You've got four options, uh, and now we're gonna start moving the content in. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to my own profile because I've already got a LinkedIn newsletter here and you'll be able to see this is literally a video of me sending my last newsletter. This is how I do it. I'm repurposing an old article. So I'm really copying and pasting right from the browser into LinkedIn. The editor is very nice, right? I'm putting in the featured image, something compelling, something that's uh, kind of engaging, something that'll slow down the scan reader, uh, and I'm adding a video because it was embedded. Just click to add content, copy and paste in the destination of the video, right? It's on a it's on a YouTube video. So now I'm like moving all my content in. The editor makes it so easy. It preserves all the formatting. The most time consuming part is just moving in all the images for which you click that little icon and then choose the image. For these contributor quotes, I'm choosing to kind of center the image and then putting their name and, and, and uh, company as the uh, caption. So I'm just loading it all in. Okay, it's all in. <laughs> now it's time to add the call to action to read the rest on my site because I'd love to drive a little bit of traffic. Now that link can be tracked using a campaign tracker. So I'm adding the campaign source, the campaign medium, which is social, the campaign name. In this case, it's an article about headlines. I just called it headlines. And I'm gonna put that new link with the campaign tracking code in the bottom of the article so that the person who wants to read the full article can go to the original. Now, I'm gonna add another link just using LinkedIn's uh, kind of native link uh, feature. Right there, you click link, and then you copy and paste in the link. That link does not have campaign tracking code. So there's gonna be some leaks in the tracking bucket no matter what, okay? But now my whole article's in here. Now I'm gonna pay special attention to the very top to put in some text that is the pre that will become the pre-header text when this email gets sent. The person's gonna see it in their mobile inbox and it's gonna, there's gonna be a little bit of text up there. That's whatever is the beginning of the article. The article name is the subject line and the, art, and the, the top of the article is gonna be the pre-header text. So you can see how I'm using like an emoji and a kind of a friendly little thing to make it more visible. Cool, okay, that's it. We're ready to publish. So nothing else, I've got my mentions in here. I've got my, uh, you know, my contributor quotes. I'm just clicking next. And now I have to write a social post. The social post will also be the body text of the email. So I've already written kind of a, a, dem, a, a, a draft of it. Just for fun, I'm gonna use ChatGPT to think to see if it gives me any new ideas. Okay, here's the prompt. Write a social post for this article. I gave it the article link. Now I've got a, uh, a Chrome extension that runs on top of ChatGPT called AIPRM that allows it to go to the web and browse things. And so it read the article and now it's summarizing the article. I, I, uh, by the time you watch this, you might not even need a tool like that because they're adding browsing to ChatGPT for already. Okay, uh, it, it found some stuff that I'd skipped that I forgot to include. So I'm actually gonna add that. I'm just f using it to kind of give me some more ideas. It's not really writing this. You can see I've already written this, but it gave me some, it, it suggested something that I'd kind of missed. So I'm gonna do that. It also had like these uh, emojis everywhere. That's probably not a bad idea. So instead of my bullets, I'm gonna use that emoji, right? This is about a headline or targeting. It's, it, it sort of fits. Cool. I've got my whole thing in there. Uh, it suggested some, some, some hashtags. Let's pick one of their hashtags, writing hacks. I kind of like that. Now, I'm going to copy and paste that whole thing and use it as the post in social media. But I've got one step left, which is all my contributors, you saw how many contributors I had to my article. 
I would never write an article without contributors. Highly recommend that you use a collaborative format for content marketing and never miss the chance to add a subject matter expert or social influencer to your content. It's more fun and you get better reach, partly because you can add them as mentions. You can see I'm thanking everybody who contributed to the original article, putting them all in there. There's Charlie, there's Sonia, there's Barry, there's Heidi, there's Jeff. Cool, now they're all gonna get notified when this thing goes live, right? It's like ego bait, they're more likely to share. Okay, so I've got the whole piece, it's all set up. Uh, I did the, you know, every little element was included, all the images, it's got a video, it's got the headline, it's got the hashtags, it's got the mentions, it's got, you know, the, the careful construction of the, what will be the pre-header text, and now I click to publish. It's done, that's it, that was the social post. LinkedIn just turned that into an email and sent it to all of your subscribers. The entire process there might have taken me, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes, because the post was already written and I already had a draft of my of my um, uh, social post and email copy. Uh, but I sped that up so that we could do it all together in maybe like five minutes. Budget a half hour, something like that. But the reach can be dramatic. It's a huge new audience. It's a chance to give new life to your old articles. You can simply curate the stuff you've already created. Uh, and it's no cost. Why wouldn't you? It doesn't exclude anything else that you're doing. It's completely in addition to. And by the way, that task just there could have been delegated to a VA or anybody in the business. It's something that you can really easily sort of uh, delegate. Repurposing, delegation, greater reach, greater engagement, right? So uh, I highly recommend that you consider a LinkedIn newsletter and your content strategy just as simply a way of distribution, if nothing else. Hope this was all helpful. I know we went quick, but uh, that's really all there is to it. That's the mechanics of creating and launching your email, your uh, your LinkedIn newsletter. Uh, again, Andy from Orbit Media. If you find this helpful, feel free to share with anyone else who's uh, who's looking for greater, uh, better distribution and great engagement and growth from their content. Thanks.